Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will learn about the new concept that is nothing but dependency injection. So what is the, the concept of the dependency injection? So in short form, we call it as in DA. So what is the use of this dependency injection? So normally if you try to see, so DA, so dependency injection is a design pattern and a mechanism for creating and delivering some parts of an app to other parts of an app that require them. So this is the definition of this, div of this uh, what I can say is dependency injection. So now if you try to see, we need to understand the dependency injection in the Angular. So normally dependency injection or the DA is one of the fundamental concepts in the Angular. So dependency injection is wide into the Angular framework and allows classes with angular decorators. So whatever the classes we are having within angular decorators, such as components, directives, pipes and injectables, whatever it may be, to configure the different dependencies that they needed. So dependencies that they needed. So that is one that is one thing which you do. So in angular, normally two main roles exist in the dependency injection system. That is dependency consumer, so who uses the dependency and the dependency provider. So this is one thing. Now, so Angular facilitates the interaction between the dependency consumer and the dependency providers using an abstraction called injector. So in order to have a communication between this consumer and the dependency provider, so it provides an abstraction called as an injector. So that means when a dependency is requested, the injector checks its registry to see if there is an instance already available. If not, it will create a new instance and it will store it in the registry. So that uh, and it will provide it to you. Angular provides an application wide injector also called as a root injector during the application bootstrap process. In most process, you don't need to manually create the injectors, but you should know that there is a layer that connects between the providers and the consumers. So that is one thing. So now, so first we will try to understand how we can provide the dependency. So let's say that for example, here this is our code, right? Let's say that I will create a service. So for creating a service, just you can create a service. Service means nothing but a class. Let's say that I am creating a class that is nothing but logger.service.ts file. So this is just what you can say it is an export class logger service. So this is a simple class. So now in order to make this, this class, consider this class logger service and the, that needs to act as a dependency in a component. First step what we need to do it is, so we need to, I will try to uh, extend, uh, increase the font size so that you people may be able to understand it clearly. I will make it as a 26. Yeah. So now when I mention this one as an logger service, so in order to have this dependency available in the application wide or act as a dependency in a component means first of all we need to do the injectable i told you right injectable acts as an abstraction layer so this injectable should be imported from the angular core that's it the first step is to add the injectable decorator to show that the class can be injected the next step is to make it available in the dependency injection by providing it so a dependency injection can be provided in multiple places so i will try to show you that multiple places are nothing but which I can say is preferred at the application root level using provided in. So this is the preferred one. So this is the recommended way of pro uh, providing the dependency injection in the angular. And next one is the component level. If you have a requirement, so you can also provide it in the component level. And the next one is the application root level using application config. I will try to show you this one also. So this last one is the ng module that already you know about this one when you are working prior to the angular 18. So you know about this when you are having a modules concept means then we will be using this ng module concept that we will provide it in the providers in the ng module decorator. So these are the four ways in which we can use the dependency injection providing. So first one we will try to see is the application root level. So that is nothing but this is the preferred way application root to provide using the provided in keyword. So now providing a service at the application root level using the provided in all allows injecting the service into all other classes using provided in enables the angular and javascript code optimizers to effectively remove the services that are unused known as a tree, tree shaking 
so now how we can use this one is so we can provide a service by using provided in root in the injectable decorator so here we need to provide it something like provided in and here you need to mention it as a root okay and here you need to provide it as a root that's it so now by mentioning this one when you provide the service at the root level angular creates a single shared instance of the logger service and injects it into any class that asks for it. How we can inject this one is I will try to show you. So this is one way how we can provide it. So that is nothing but this is the first way. So now the uh, that logger service will be injected at any level. Next one is that you can provide the service at the component level by using the provider fields of the component director. So for example, let's say that if you want to provide the same thing in a component level, that means so you will not provide this injectable thing. And if you want to pro inject this one in a component level means let's say that in the widget dot component if you want to provide it means so we need to use the providers okay so this keyword you need to provide and here you need to use the logger service that's it so that means <coughs> a shared instance will be created in this component and its child components so this hero serve in this case the he the logger service becomes available to all the instances of this component and other components and directives used in the template. So that is nothing but its child components. So that is one thing. So this way we will be using it. These are all providing only. We are not consuming it still. When you register a provider at the component level, you get a new instance of the service with each new instance of that component. So that means whenever you are creating this component means for each new instance of the component, you will get a new instance of this logger service that is so you will not get a single instance of this logger service you will get every time a new instance of this logger service declaring note you need to declare declaring a service like this causes the logger service be always be included in your application even if the service is not used even if the service is not used also this logger service will be included in our final bundle and the third one which you need to know which you under which you know is the at the application root level using the application config you can use the providers field of the application config pass it, pass it to the bootstrap application function to provide a service or other injectable at the application level. So here what is this one I am trying to tell you is so we will be having a main method that is nothing but main.ts I will try to show you. In the main.ts we will be having a bootstrap application this is one thing which I want to tell you and here we will be passing the app component and also application wide configuration also. If you try to open this application configuration you will be having another another reason this is nothing but a providers and here also you can mention it how you can mention it is here so you can keep a comma okay so provide providers sorry provide and here you can give a logger service so in this way also you can provide the service in the application root level but here also you need to understand that if this service is unused in the application level means still this uh, service will be added in the final bundle so it will not be removed if it is unused so this is one thing you need to understand only if you are provided in root if you use it in the service level injectable means then only it will be removed if the service is not used so and the last one is the ng module based application so right now we don't have in our angular 18 i am using all the uh, components as a standalone components only so i don't have the ng module so if you try to see my previous angular videos like angular 15 14 which i have used it there i will be using the module concept and in that module concept you will be able to see that we will be providing a providers and in the providers we will provide all things in the module level so fine so these are the different ways how you can provide the or how you can inject the um, how you can provide how you can provide the dependency now you are providing a different ways in the dependency now how you will consume a dependency so that is one thing the most common way to inject a dependency is to declare it in a class constructor so that means if you go to into a component anything component or the service or anything so if you want to add this the most common way is available it in the class constructor when angular creates a new instance of a component directory or pipeline it determines which services or other dependencies for that class needs to be looking at the constructor parameter types for example if this widget component needs the logger service means the construction can constructor can be look like this so so how it will look like is constructor and here i we can use private logger service so the name whatever you want you can use it logger service that's it and now here i can use it this one so here this is the private i am using that's it finished widget component other uh, another option is to use the inject method so this is the constructor method so if you uh, if you want to inject in the constructor you can use it otherwise if you don't want to use it like this means then also you can use in another way that is nothing but private logger service is equal to inject 
so this should be imported from the angular core inject and here you can use the logger service logger service that's it so now this is also another way how you can inject the service when angular discovers that a component depends on the service it first checks if the injector has any existing instances of that service so that means this injector has any other any instances available or not so if it is available means if the requester service doesn't have any means the injector creates one using the request provider register provider and adds it to the injector before returning to the service to the angular so that is one thing that is how you will be doing so this is how you will be providing the dependency and consuming the dependency so consuming the dependency means using the constructor that is the preferred one which we will be using it or otherwise you can also use the inject method so anyway you can use it but here the provided in is the one way and another one is the component level and another one is the application in the app, app config application config level and another one is the ng module level hope you understood about this dependency injection if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel